Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm John Ventura. On this episode, I'll be talking about a new film that I tried out at a recent wedding that I did. That film is Kodak T-Max P3200. P, this is a quick lesson, P stands for push because it's actually rated 800, but then in development you push it to 3200. All that means is that your ISO as a film is 3200, and that's what you shoot with. Crazy! Yeah, so I used a, I used a Canon A1 with this film, and I shot it on Aperture Priority. This is what I got from that wedding. So my opinion of the film is that it's great. It's not a smooth film, it's it's high grain. Especially when you're shooting indoors, you can tell that the black and the white doesn't have much latitude to it. So that from the shadow to the bright spots in the room, it goes from black to white. It doesn't go dark gray to light gray easily. And there are details that gets lost. But still, it's a 3200 film, so I don't have much experience with high speed film, this is my first stab at it, but it looks great to me, like it has a photojournalistic feel to it. And another thing that I notice is that when you're shooting on daylight, it actually smoothens out, it actually has a, has a better gray tone to it and I really enjoy that see it's a very versatile film so my conclusion is go try it out I like it it's great because you can shoot in daylight stick on an ND filter or shoot in high speed a large depth of field instead of a shallow one I recommend it it just costs a little much I think I paid ten dollars for it so yeah next film that I want to try Ilford Delta 3200 it's another, it's another black and white film. Uh, I want to try this out. Maybe next week you'll see uh, another film review. So yeah, if you like this stuff, comment down below, share it with your friends who's also doing some film photography. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And that's all. Thanks guys.